here are the 10 useful tools or features in Marvel's designer or cloth ready. Please note these are all the basic tools or feature of Marvel's designer and they are my personal favorite. And if you use cloth 3D on a daily basis, you probably know all of them. Anyway, let's start with number 10. I hate this tool. <laughs> yeah, but it's a very useful tool sometimes. You can use this tool in various way, but I use this only to make the seams look better. Here's how. If you want to make the side seam look even better, you can make an internal line on each pattern and use fold arrangement tool to rotate it like this. Then sew it with the internal lines, then select the lines, again add two lines around the internal lines, yeah, there's a lot of lines, then press space or simulate, and you will see amazing seam line. Yeah, yeah, I know. You can see the same thing by turning on this, but this is the fake detail, just like normal map. But this, this is real. I mean, it's digital, but it's real. All right, number nine. This is the most needed feature when you want to snap any fabric piece to any of the part of the body. For example, if you want to create a waistband, make a rectangle, just press Shift F or you can find that tool here. Click it. These are the arrangement points. Click the waistband pattern and hover over here and click. Boom. Just like waistband, you can also do the same thing with the sleeve and with many more pattern. That's why this tool or feature is amazing and perfect fit for number nine. Great, number eight. This is kind of okay tool for me. It helps me sometimes. That's why I place it at number eight. Well, if you want to drape something and the fabric slides, you can tag the fabric either with another fabric or to the avatar. Well, it's really good because when you animate the cloth, the tag will remain the same. Number seven. I believe you all agree that this feature is freaking amazing. This feature lets you unfold patterns. Well, yeah. When you create half of the basic t-shirt pattern, you can select this center front line, right click, unfold. There we go. Or you can also click unfold symmetric editing. It's better because when you edit one side, it will also do the same to the other side. Less work and more outcome. Well, number six. Ha, ah, this is only for cloth 3D. Really? Anyway, this tool helps you maintain layered fabric pieces. Meaning, if you click on this fabric and then this, no matter what you do, this fabric will always remain on top. Because sometimes the fabric behaves really weird in cloth 3D, so this is a nice tool to keep those fabric on top always. I don't use this tool too much, but it is really helpful and deserves 6th place. Great, number 5. This is a gem. This helps you reduce curve points. Well, it's not particularly helpful in simple dresses, but when you create a rather complex design, there will be many curve points. And believe it or not, those many points slow the program down quite a lot. That's why this feature exists. And on top of that, if you have less curve point, it's easier to modify the curvature. Simply right click on the blank area with transform pattern tool and click optimize all curve point. You can set a percentage or you can leave the default one. Cloth 3D calculates all the points and gives you a balanced percentage. Number four. This got to be my favorite one. Why? Because this lets you create instance of as many pattern as you need. Well, what I mean by that is Let's suppose you have copied a pattern several times. This got to be the same pattern, otherwise this will not work. Select all the pattern using transform pattern tool. Right click 
on any of this instance pattern. Now if you modify one pattern, all the instances will be modified. How cool is that? Pretty amazing, right? It saves so much time and effort. That's why it's perfect fit for number four. All right, before number three, if you're still watching, thank you so much. Just make sure to give a like. All right, number three. What if you want to sew these three segments with these two segments at the same time? Well, it's possible with the M and segment sewing tool. Select that tool, click and drag here, here, and here. Then press enter to complete one sewing. Then click here and here, and press enter to finish the sewing. It's really useful in situations like this. And the free sewing works kind of similar. Great, number two. This is again Glow 3D feature. Ha! <sighs> I don't know why MD doesn't have it. Like, come on. Okay, let's keep my frustration away. I keep this tool in number two because it's an amazing tool and it deserves it. This kind of gives you more or less the same effect as Last and Spared in Marvel's Designer, but this is very, very easy to work with. For example, did you ever face this problem where color looks so loose while having the measurement correct? Well, it happens because the color in three dimension is round and in two dimensions kind of flat and straight. That's where this tool comes in handy. With that tool selected, drag this line here and here like this and reduce this number to have a bit of curvature in the pattern. And when you simulate, boom, it will be perfectly fit and the measurement will also be same. Well, I can explain this tool in detail, in depth, but it will take forever. Let me know if you want a deep explanation of this tool. I will make a video. All right, it's time for number one. But before that, drum roll please. This is my favorite tool in Glow 3D or Morpheus Designer. I have told this before in my other video. I am telling this again. Like really, this has to be my favorite one. Because with this tool, you can work twice fast. For example, what if you want to reduce this line from the both direction? What you can do is drag this point to the right side and then right click instead of left click, then type a number, then do it the same thing on the other side. No, 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 no. This is too much work. And you know, I am lazy. So you can just select my favorite tool, then click this line, then double click here to activate the pivot, drag from here, boom. And if you press right click instead of left click, you can precisely modify the measurement. On top of that, you can also rotate individual lines with this tool. I can talk about this for hours, but I'm not going to do that. This tool is by far the most amazing tool in Glow 3D or Morpheus Designer. That's why this is number one in my list. All right, so here are those 10 features or tools that helped me so much, and those are my personal favorite. Let me know in a comment what is your favorite tool or feature from them. And if you want to watch more videos like this, do like this video. When this video reaches 200 likes, I'll make another 10 amazing features. Until then, see you in the next video. Really soon. Bye.